In my life, early life, I was living in the suburbs and all that sort of thing, and I never had a garden. I never had time for it. I swore then that if I ever got the opportunity, I'd like a big garden and one that I could put a water feature in, grow the trees, the great trees that I got to love. Right from the very beginning, I decided that you can't have dreams of a beautiful garden if you don't have water. On my 18th birthday, the 29th of October, 1942, I'd made up my mind that I was going to avenge my father's treatment by joining to, to fight the Bosch. It was jingoistic, I know, to think about it, but that's what we were thinking of. So I became a, an officer of the Royal Australian Air Force at 18 and went overseas to Europe where things were certainly different. In uh, circumstances where things went wrong very quickly, if the aircraft disintegrated for some reason, very seldom did any of the crew survive. Well, the most unfortunate thing happened in our case, coming back from Dortmund, my rear gunner, in his last words to me, he screamed out, jet, jet, skipper, dive. They were his last words. In a fraction of a second, the six guys were out in the falling. At 20,000 feet, it takes almost three minutes to free fall to the earth. If you uh, ever experience three minutes silence, you know how long that is. It was a snow, snowy night on the ground and uh, a bit of light was coming through. I came to and surprisingly the seat, the steel seat, had uh, it and I had parted company. The chute was hanging off me and I could feel it burning in the back from the explosion. <laughs> you looked down and you... I could see this bloody church down against the snow. It was midnight. And I look at it. You can, you'd never forget it. <laughs> and I thought, cripes, if I go and do something, I'm going to land on that point. <laughs> Rather than that, I had a go at opening the chute. And surprisingly, it worked about a thousand feet or so because I, I was so close to the ground. and. Uh, came down in this bloody churchyard. Peach tree or something was there, it broke the fall. The leaves on the tupelo, as they turn, they go almost full, deep red. And uh, then, of course, the liquid ambers, they, they're pretty good, and the pin oaks. If I wanted to set out a way that a person should depart this planet, <laughs> why not depart from a place like this? I'd be happy. 
I'd be happy to be here and just nod off. <laughs>